Welcome back to another one of everything Wednesdays. I'm your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right. Today we have. Uh, can you? Oh, can you? Can you read it? Can you read it? This place didn't have a business card. Um, they were out of business cards, apparently. Supposedly. Um. From what I understand. This is a chain, or maybe not a chain, but they have essentially more than one location that has the same name in and around my area. They are affiliated, I think. And apparently this location, based on what I'm going to say about it, is uh, sort of like, I guess, like the the smaller, the, the quite smaller of the two. I don't know too much about the other one. I haven't been to it yet. I plan to go to it soon to check it out. Um, but it's called Comic Connection. This was the one located in Hamilton. It's in a very weird location. It was interesting to get to, and it, it looked like a hole in the wall when we got there. Um, there was nobody in there except for the guy who was running the shop. Um, there was boxes and boxes and binders and binders of magic cards and sports cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you name it, card-wise, it was there in binders or boxes behind the counter. So I thought, oh, that's a good sign. They're going to have lots of stuff. Well, yes and no. They had a lot of binders and they had a lot of stuff on the shelves. But when I asked about sealed product, they really only, they only really had... So, at first, he gave me these two. He gave me these. These were the only ones they had. Then he went, oh, wait, I found another one in the in the case, in the glass case. He had a single pack of Theros. And I was like, okay, give it to me, too. And then, it's been a while since I was actually there, so they will have Ixalan now, but they may not have Amon Kit anymore. Or maybe even Hour of Dev. Maybe they only have Ixalan now. I have no idea, to be completely honest. But they didn't have much going for them in the ways of sealed packs. But if you're going in there looking for singles and things, they probably have what you're looking for because they had a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't look at any of it, uh, but I did take some pictures of the stuff that was there. I'll have to see if I can find them. Um, uh, anyway, let's get in. Let's get into it. So we've got Theros, Amonkhet, Hour of Devastation, and Ixalan. So... Let's just take a little peek at what we can find maybe for our patrons. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something decent. The patron pile is still doing pretty okay, so it should be all right. We've got a Verdant Rebirth, a Walk the Plank, Glorifier of Dusk, and a Fleet Swallower. Foil Vampire Zeal, though. It's foil. Foils are always nice. Hour of Dev. Maybe we can find a Scarab God. Maybe they had a Scarab God just sitting around in a pack waiting for me to come and buy it. Maybe that's a thing that happened. Who knows? Maybe there's a Foil Scarab God in this pack. Who knows? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Quarry Beetle. Vile Manifestation. Inferno Jet. And Jiru. With eyes open. Nothing too exciting there. Get, get, get out of here, thing. All right. What else we got? We got things here. Okay, Amon Ket is next. We've got Manglehorn. Lord of the Accursed, actually a very decent card. Very good card for zombies. Shefet Monitor. And, hey, we hit a mythic, Combat Celebrant. There you go. We did find a mythic out of the packs they had sitting around for us. And a foil. Foil Labyrinth Guardian. There you go. That pack was pretty decent. Nice little mythic with a foil. Can't complain about that. And the Theros pack that was in the glass counter. Was it was it there for a reason? Is this a god pack? It's not a god pack. 
That's too bad. Would have been amazing if it had been a god pack and he sold it to me for like three dollars. <laughs> I would have been like, yes, peak eruption, glare of heresy, dauntless onslaught, and a annex and Symed. And a little soldier, soldier token and a mountain. So there you go, everybody. That's a one of everything. It's This is their not business card. They had a stamp. He just stamped it onto this other random card. And it's not like, it's not even a card for their store. It's like a product placement card for Wizards of the Coast foreign product. <laughs> I don't know where they got that from. Who knows? But they stamped it on that random piece of garbage for me to give me their contact information, which then, of course, smudged immediately due to the rain. Because it was raining on the day that I went in there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. I hope you enjoyed this one of everything. Hopefully the next few that I do will be a little bit more extensive than this, as the last couple have been a bit lacking. I told you, I warned you with all the other ones that I had a couple that were pretty lacking, um, because I was sort of not really... I should have split them up. I should have done, like, a good one and then a mediocre one and then another good one and then a bad one and then a good one, right? Like, I, I did all the good ones first. I was, I, I was just excited. I was like, oh, so many packs. I want to do them, right? But uh, anyway... Go there, check out, check it out for your singles. They definitely look like they had a lot of product for singles. Um, I wouldn't go there looking for sealed product. That's all I'm saying. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.